but you've lost a lot of time. Like me. We could help each other with that. So this looks, I'm, I'm very much anticipating this movie. It looks like this movie is really going to up the ante of the stakes. Yeah, it looks very reminiscent of like Doctor Strange, at least visually. It looks like there's going to be a lot of like really fun, really drippy visuals. So that's exciting. And it looks like, it just looks very interesting, very exciting. I'm very excited to see what they do with this. Uh, the fact that Avengers 5, I think, is called the King Dynasty, or one of them is called the King Dynasty. So maybe that means Kang's not going to die in this movie. But then again, they did say he did say in Loki, um, you know, if you think I'm evil, just wait until you meet my variants. So maybe it's not Kang. Maybe it's another variant. Maybe there's a good Kang. I don't know. Also, Modok was in that trailer. I'm very excited to see Modok live action. Surprisingly, he doesn't look silly. I was thinking they're never going to be able to do Modok on live action because he's going to look really silly. But that actually looks really good. They did a really good job with Modok. So. Yeah, uh, I have a feeling this is probably going to be the last outing for uh, Scott Lang, though. It looks like this is going to be his swan song. It's going to be another one of those Passing the Mantle movies, and I think, you know, Cassie's obviously going to become the new Ant- Ant-Man or Ant-Girl or whatever she decides her superhero name is, because you know they're setting up Young Avengers. You know they are, because with Spider-Man, and then you have, of course, uh, America Chavez, and then you have Wanda's kids, and then you have Shuri, um... And also, you know, at the end of Wakanda Forever, you have uh, T'Challa's son as well. That's another possibility for Young Avengers. So it seems like that's the direction they're going with this. And, of course, with Thor, of course, you have uh, Love, right? Love and Thunder, you have his adopted daughter. So, yeah, it seems like that's kind of the direction they're going with this. I think they're going to set this up to be maybe the start of a Young Avengers team up at some point in the future. That's that's my guess, but there's no point in speculating, obviously, because I'm not Marvel, I'm not Kevin Feige, and I'm not going to go in with expectations or fan theories or anything, because that only leads to disappointment. This looks interesting, though. It looks very exciting. There's not a lot of humor in this trailer, which, um... Uh, I mean, the Ant-Man movies are generally pretty funny, so the fact there's not a lot of humor in this trailer worries me. I know people complain about Marvel having too much humor, but with Ant-Man, it works, you know, Louise isn't in this trailer. None of the other Wombats are in this trailer. It looks very somber. It looks very serious. It looks more action-y. So, I don't know. Maybe it might have some humor. I mean, the first trailer had a little bit of humor with the being mistaken for Spider-Man joke. But, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how this turns out. That looks really exciting, though. I'm very excited for this. It comes out in a little bit over a month now. So, yeah. I'm very excited to see what Phase 5 brings us. Because it's the first movie of Phase 5. Woo! And also... Will this tie into Loki? We'll see. Let me know what you guys thought of the trailer.